Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Sharon. And, and we, we are Ponderosa, Ponderosa Garden, Garden Adventures. Adventures. Welcome to our 2023 garden tour. It's late January here in Southern California, and uh, really for us, it's time to start that garden season. We're a little earlier than some of the other regions because we have this nice 350-day planting season, really. Um, and so we want to show you what it looks like now at the beginning of the season. It's uh, late January, as Sharon said. It's a beautiful day out today, but we've got another storm coming in later tonight. So um, this time of year, we get in the gardening whenever we can. And today we're just going to show you a tour of what the garden looks like, a sort of a before snapshot of what the garden looks like before we get started. And we'll point out some of the projects we're going to be working on. Right. We're going to try to be better this year about doing a garden tour at least every month so that you can follow along and see month to month, you know, how the garden progresses and what the growing season's like here in Zone 10B. So be sure to tune in in February when we will be starting to plant things. So, so we got our, our tour started, let's go. Let's go. Hey, are you ready for our garden tour 2023? Hey, yeah. My blue kale, and there is the red kale, and over there are these are peas.
This is Provence, my kitchen garden here in the back. I've got arugula that I just let go to flower and that'll be coming out and I'll be topping off the soil and planting for the season. Lots of weeding to do, lots of start of the season maintenance, weeds and trimming and just lots of succulents in the fire pit area. Got some kale and onions going in here. real life here. This is the potting area that has not been cleaned up since the rains and the winter and everything was put together very quickly. You can see the potting soil and all of that needs to be straightened up and ready for another season. We have our pineapple grove here. You can see we have our little pineapple up there. So this one is about three years old two and a half, three years old. We've got one almost ready to harvest and another couple little babies coming in. We have all of these here going. These are all from uh, cut top um, pineapples. So pineapples bought at the supermarket, cut the top off, uh, started in some water to let the roots grow and then transplant them on. So, Kind of fun. We've got gardenia here. On the back side is our um, fire pit area we call Kilauea. We've got all of our succulents and tropical things here and some climbing roses and some bougainvillea which are kind of dormant right now. And then we've got roses that again need to be trimmed and Lots of succulents going on. My uh, son has his succulent business going. And our grapevine over here, we've got more plumeria and blueberries. Only one of them made it through the winter. This one here, a little trimming and a little TLC. We should be able to bring that back two more plumeria, a little garden structure and dog house and over here's the back side with the kale and the grapefruit tree that was planted last year and the fountain and the mini rose garden and here we are back at Windsor and then our pathway there's our uh, dining area which we call Tuscany we need to put the, the umbrella back up and get the, the coverings for the garden beds and get just kind of get things cleaned up again and ready for the season. And again, Texas privet, which needs to be trimmed, and our walkway here heading back up. So we'll just take you along here. It's taken a long while to get the structure set in the garden, but it's really coming along. We'll maybe be able to insert some 
before pictures what it was just a few years ago. We got this, um, some new roses planted last year and we've got, uh, Mark put in the uh, river rock with a little flowing river through it made out of rock. We'll come across here. We of course garden on our patio also that is also just covered up from winter storms and remodeling that was going on inside the house so we'll do that on another day. But here are the Cape daisies also known as Uriops and uh, the far plant over there has been here. It's a, a legacy plant for us here and um, we just this past season replanted this to bring this hedge back and I just love it. It's I had this here before with it will grow all the way to about the top of the fence line and then it's just a, a sea of yellow flowers. It's so cheerful and bright and I just love it. And over here is our seating area, we come out and have our morning coffee and all of that. And again, this is just the, you know, the weather's just nice enough now for us to kind of come out and it's not freezing and it's not pouring rain. So we can come out and enjoy the garden once again, anxious to get back in. Down here, we've got our plum tree, which is just gorgeous. It's just barely starting to have little nodes where the, the buds will be and eventually plums. And down here is the perennial garden, which is uh, in line for a complete revamp. We've got a geranium, a Martha Washington geranium, and then we've got um, the um, iris, bearded iris, and it definitely needs to be separated and um, thinned out. So I'll be doing that as one of the projects coming up. And over here is the entrance to our um, Kilauea or the fireplace area. And again, it's kind of buttoned up for the season. We've got a black-eyed Susan, which is uh, three years old. And it's almost making it all the way across the top. So I'm hopeful. And then we just planted this a few months ago. Uh, this is our new pear tree and it's looking quite happy and it's got little bulbs that are swelling so I'm anxious anxious to see how it's going to do this season and that is it back to the back to the gate where we started the house of this is the greenhouse Yeah. Not, not set up the way we normally do. We normally have this in the back and we have racks set up and seed starting and all of that. But this was really used more for overwintering, protecting the avocado. Uh, what's left of my seedlings, I've already harvested the snapdragons and the, the, um, the other seedlings. Well, thanks for joining us on the tour. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. Click like and subscribe. Please share with friends. We hope you'll join us here again. We've got lots of projects coming up. As you can see, there's a lot to be done here. Um, I'm going to be separating some of the bearded iris. That's a, a one we're going to do. We've got a strawberry raised bed we're going to do. And Mark has some things up his sleeve as well. we got some bulbs to plant even. We're still planting bulbs. And we're going to be planting some seeds. Thanks again for joining us here at Ponderosa Garden Adventures. See you next time.